Hello folks, this is Rafi from Plugin India and today we are going to give you an update about an electric bike company uh, based out of Pune. These people have been converting normal cycles into electric cycles and their conversion kits have done very well over the last few years. <laughs> kits have been very well received by the electric vehicle community. They have one of the best pedal assist experience in all the kits available in the market today. This is because the extensive R&D that has been done by the team on the motor, controller, pedal assist sensor etc. In fact, Kamlesh from the Plugin India Pune community has been using an e-edit kit for the past entire year. He has used it for more than 1200 kilometers on the hilly areas of Pune and he really appreciates the performance and reliability of the kit. You can check out his Strava handle over here and follow him and find out what rides he does. Recently, we met up with the founder of eAddict, Mr. Tejas Chatriya in Pune University and we asked him about the various electronic components and the specifications that are used in this kit. Tejas' interview is coming up towards the end of the video. Stay tuned because he's spoken about some amazing things like artificial intelligence which he's going to be using in his e-bike kits. So we had the wonderful opportunity to meet the first customer that e addict ever had and he's been using this kit for more than 3 years and on his B2N cycle, it's still going strong and giving him the expected range. So let's listen to him. <laughs> Tell us, hi. Hi. Welcome to our YouTube channel. And uh, we wanted to show people what is possible. Uh, you've actually been doing this. Right, right. So since when have you been uh, off petrol, off diesel? Oh, nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm very glad to be a Pune. I've been born and brought up in Pune, which has such a salubrious climate and surrounded by hills, trekking and... But then off late when we had pollution and stuff like that, I thought of doing something for the environment. So I wanted to have the joy of riding plus the exercise part, all this combined. So then I was trying to figure out something and uh, until I met Mr. Tejas Kshatriya, uh, Mr. Tejas uh, Kshatriya incidentally had worked on uh, buses, a couple of buses which were uh, which the Prime Minister Sir, Narendra Modi had come to inaugurate. I tell you, he's a genius. After <laughs> I met him, he said, okay, give me a couple of months. Okay. And then uh, after three, four or five months, I don't know, nearing Diwali of 2015, he had this bike ready. And since then, I have not had the need to upgrade it. Okay. It's the best in the world. I <laughs> rode the Canadian Bionics, which right. cost a lakh and 26,000 at that time four or five years ago. Then uh, I have uh, ridden those Danish bikes all over. But they all had the accelerator everywhere I have been, all over the world. But this was the first bicycle without an accelerator that I saw here. Now there might have been copies, mm -hmm. okay? But then the engineering, is, yeah. uh, this bike is the best in the world. It can take you from point to point fastest. You invest in uh, a gym, hmm. how much do you invest? Like 40, 50,000, at least 30,000 yeah. in a year, right? You invest in this and then it's as good as any gym. You yeah. don't waste time going to the gym. You are commuting and you enjoy your commute. And let me tell you, if you even if you are riding a two-wheeler, huh? you are uh, affected by the pollution. Right. Even if you have a helmet, whatever. But if you are in this, you are not affected by the pollution. Because your system of throwing the toxic toxins out, right. the, that's working. So the pollution the doesn't affect you. Yeah. Plus, because of this system, all you have to do is just lift your legs. Right. So there is a continuous stomach crunching. Right. And tires chodo pencil bhi nahi <laughs> Yeah. Zelish, uh, what's your daily routine like and how many kilometers have you covered so far? Can you tell our viewers? Uh... Well, so far I have done definitely a lakh and a half. Wow. But then on this bike, the e addict I think it should be around 50,000 at least. That's a lot. Because <laughs> I average uh, say around 900 to 1000 in a month. Yeah. So if you see, it's 
around hey, 14 it's, it's to 15000 in commute. a year it's your daily commute 14 to 15000 yeah. a year exactly. and now if you see it's uh, already <laughs> three and a half years Yes. And tell us a little bit about the battery. Uh, is this the first battery? Yeah, used? this is and this is this is the first battery. If you see the latest battery okay. is different aerodynamic right. model and all that, and it's still working fine. Absolutely, not? no problem at all. Five years plus and four years plus, and it's still yes, yes, yes. And I have a lithium-ion battery now, which okay. is more than seven years, and it's still uh, it's still doing fine. its job. Yeah. And tell us, I thanks, Alex. Yeah, I wanted to do something for the environment. and uh, rather than create pollution one less one so, less yeah so one the less. bicycle yeah. was the first step recently e addict have come up with their own branded e bike not just the kit the entire bike called emt sports full e bike and it have we recently had a chance to try it out all of us tried out the bike and it has the same fluid pedal assist that we have become so used to with e addict kits the electronics in the emt sports full e bike are the same as the ones that are used in the eadic kit it has a 250 watt customized bldc motor and nmc based lithium ion batteries which gives you a thousand cycles the company claims about a 30 to 60 km range uh, depending on the pedal assist mode which you set the mechanical components used on the e bike are of very good quality especially the frame normally you see heavy steel frames used in e bikes but this one has a aluminum alloy frame with a fantastic 16 kilo weight which makes it the lightest frame used on an e-bike in the indian market the kenda wheels the alloy rims and the 21 speed shimano high range derailers are of top quality the cost of this e-bike is approximately rupees 68000 which is a bit pricey but we feel that it's a fantastic commuter option if you have a 15 to 20 km office commute or to extend your normal cycling range and especially the way it offsets your petrol costs saving you huge money compared to using a petrol scooter i spoke to tejas and asked him a few questions to get his technical insights about this product here is his interview uh, let's meet tejas the co-founder of e addict tejas uh, please come uh, our audience has a lot of questions for you uh, our youtube followers have been watching closely they've been very impressed with e addict its performance okay. Uh, we Thank have you. a couple of questions for you. Sure. You are welcome. Yeah. And uh, the Thank question you. is that uh, are there some specific controller features that you've implemented in these EAD kits uh, for India specific conditions? The components are obviously uh, highly water resistant. Right. Uh, but uh, what we have tried to do, they are they are made very I would say uh, efficient yeah. and intelligent. Uh, when I say efficient and intelligent is like. Uh, uh the components especially the motor and the controller uh they respond uh, to the riding behavior uh, mm-hmm. very uniquely yeah so the user gets a excellent riding experience and at the same time a very robust system so i think uh, it it is all about having the right efficiency and the right tuning of all the components that work together in a drive train right that is what gives user the right riding experience And the feel is different. The feel is yeah. different. The vehicle, the the components are extremely lightweight. Right. Uh, four four and a half kg of components right. into the battery, but they they they, uh, they operate very efficiently. Right. As for the uh, the riders' uh, uh, inputs. Inputs. Right. Yeah. yeah. Most of our users have been using e-bike, mm-hmm. and uh, they find that it's a lot of a problem in hilly areas, right. where the motor gets very hot or there's not enough performance. Yeah. And uh, e-addict. doesn't seem to be suffering from the same True. problems yeah, yeah. so what's the secret <laughs> so uh, see any uh, typically if you look at the bikes uh, they run at very low speed right. but you need very high torque right yeah? a motor is efficient at the rated speed and the rated torque conditions yeah but when the motors are operated at low speed and high torque they are not efficient they generate a lot of heat and uh, they draw a lot of current from the battery the controller becomes hot the motor becomes hot right. and eventually it burns out right yeah uh, yes. what we have done is we have designed a motor which is efficient at low rpms and mm-hmm. high torques ah so we have considered the the wheel speed that the uh, the bicycle right. runs at and the motor is designed to be optimum at that operating speed right and at high torque right therefore you will see the motors they hardly just become little warm the right. controllers are almost like Room uh, ambient temperature plus few degrees here and there, and uh, that helps the battery as well because uh, the battery doesn't have to provide Charged excess current. Right. 
so you get a better range in the same capacity and the controllers and the motors they really run too that's so, very good this is you considered a specific uh, use case scenario which is absolutely. using this particular thing in a cycle yes yes and that's given you a big advantage right uh, the energy consumption thing. the energy consumption uh, for the system is extremely right. low like right. 2 or 3 watt hour per kilometer uh, that gives a very good range right it is i took a ride on the e cycle and yeah. i felt that it was very helpful the moment i started pedaling it really moved right, right. and uh, tell us a little bit about the torque and about the acceleration that this cycle has during the launch when you are at a standstill condition and you want to start right you want to launch yeah right uh, you need very high torque so right. the speed is almost the speed is zero and you need high torque to have a good acceleration at the launch right. you don't need lot of power what right. you need is high torque on that yeah so the motor uh, is a geared motor yeah it has a very high gear ratio which provides very high initial torque and as the vehicle catches speed mm. there is an algorithm which uh, which controls the power and which reduces the torque right so at the signal you can actually get a jump start like a motorcycle right and as soon as you limit the power uh, you hit the power limit the speed will get controlled so that's that results in a very smooth experience yes so yes. i must say we've enjoyed that feature <laughs> good development it is most of the cycles that i've written or almost all of them have cadence based uh, sensors yeah and uh, there are also torque based sensors yes have you thought about incorporating such sensors in the uh, eat kit yeah actually we uh, started with the torque sensor uh, right. we we really wanted to uh, the system to respond based on the pressure mm -hmm. uh, and it really works well it gives a very good uh, response Mm -hmm. however the cost of integrating a torque sensor in a bicycle and the cost of torque sensor is pretty high right so that would make the system very expensive so what instead of what we did is we actually combined um the cadence center uh, sensors uh, right. satellite sensors sensor that you put uh, around the bottom bracket and uh, we tried to adjust uh, the response to the algorithm so you may not get a reactive response based on the the torque mm. that you apply on the pedal but then uh, you st you are very close to that right. so torque sensor are really good yeah you get a very good experience but the cost is high right. however through algorithm we are trying to uh, we have tried to uh, get that response very closer to torque sensor but it needs some feedback initial mm. feedback so right we have tried to keep the cost low and, and uh, yeah. incorporate the features of the box board right. but obviously and right now they are not even available in india toxins are not available in india primarily uh, due to the cost right but uh, we will have talk sensor based mm -hmm. soon to the customer uh, few of the customers who really want right. uh, the talk sensor yeah. high performance and torque it is not about a performance it is about the response the response yeah. so if they want a better response if they want a better response to talk sensor right. we can offer them it is most of the uh, product that we see on the market including scooters mm -hmm. are uh, hub mounted motors yeah and uh, bosch as a company we've seen they have a mid drive uh, product right and are we is, is there an advantage to having mid drive or, or the motor mounted in the middle and uh, is that something that you also thought about mid drive yes mid drive has uh, some of its advantages uh, you can uh, you can leverage the the gear ratios mm -hmm. but uh mid drive needs a special frame mm -hmm. yeah integration of mid drive in a bicycle uh is a is, is a tricky thing uh, so you need to design a bicycle for a mid drive for mid drive right? yeah of course uh, the cost of the mid drive is higher than a, a standard hub motor and uh, for 250 watts of power which is uh, limiting power which which is good enough for a bicycle uh, i don't think so you need to go for a rear wheel or a or a mid drive Okay. So, in order to keep the cost low and uh, keep this solution simple. simple and effective, and also kind of a DIY, I would say. Right. So the customer has an option to choose his own bicycle. Yeah. And also, like, add on a kit on the front wheel in a very elegant and simple way to make it right. fully electric. That was our starting point. Yeah. That is true. That is what we've seen. Is uh, uh, it's very easy to use. It's very easy to uh, install. and uh, definitely a simple and elegant solution yeah and the another advantage of having a front wheel drive especially at low power 
Hmm. Uh, application is that you get traction at both the wheels. Right. So when you pedal, you get power. traction in the rear wheel. Correct. Uh, due to the manual efforts. Correct. And the motor generates That's a good advantage. proportional torque to the front wheel. Right. So you get actually uh, uh, both the uh, traction on both the wheels. So that's that a good design you. feature. Yeah. yeah. And uh, thank you, Tejas, for telling us uh, yeah. a little bit more in detail about the product. Uh, can you, let's find out a little bit more about what eEdict plans to do. Tejas, tell us about any milestones that you might have for eEdict coming into the future and what are the activities that you get involved in? Uh, Rafik, um, at eEdict we have a passion team. Uh, we are passionate about uh, personal mobility. Uh, we developed this product. This has been in the market uh, for almost four years. We have hundreds of satisfied customers who have been using our e-bikes uh, regularly. Uh, in fact, uh, for the last couple of years, we have also tried and tested e-bikes at Leh Ladakh. So ah. people have done Khardungla on our like e-bikes. The highest pass in the world. Yes, the highest, highest motorable road, road uh, people have done on our e-bikes uh, and senior people have done it. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's something great. So we have tested e-bikes, uh, extreme conditions, right? High altitude, right. extreme weather conditions, extreme road conditions, and it performed just exceptionally well. Uh, now, based on like uh, various inputs coming from different customers or potential customers, we have plans to introduce uh, different variants uh, mm. for, to address the needs for various segments, I would say. Yeah. So, uh, we are going to come up with a model uh, which will which will actually uh, use uh, artificial neural networks. Uh, oh. Because every rider uh, is different. Yeah. The riding behavior is different. Yeah? Correct. So it is important to understand the riding behavior, the way he pedals, uh, the way he brakes, the way the, the speed that he runs at, uh, the acceleration. Right. So there are so many inputs that you can study and you can optimize the system to suit a particular riding behavior. Right. So we are going to have uh, such an algorithm, such a controller coming in soon and at a very competitive price point. Amazing. So we are going to have um, bikes uh, which will use uh, AI uh, and which will be connected and at a very exceptionally excellent price. Wow, so this is mind blowing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fantastic. We really look forward to seeing these products. Just thank you so much yes. for coming thank on you. to our show. Thank you, Rafi. Yeah. It was nice yeah. talking to you. There you have it, guys. Thank you. The, view. the team at E-Addict were not done yet. They had a surprise product to show us. An electric wheelchair with motors fitted onto the rear wheels, clutch controllers and batteries which are part of the system. The safety wheels which are known as anti-falling wheels were fitted onto the rear of the wheelchair. We feel this is a very important safety feature. The lead acid batteries can be removed and charged. They have about a 20 km range and have been tuned down to a speed of 6 km per hour. So we tried out the electric wheelchair ourselves and found that it was super easy to use. It does very well on slopes and on flat terrain. It has a very small turning radius of only 1.2 meters and it has a power indicator, a joystick and even a horn. We feel that this electric wheelchair is an innovative product and a fantastic tool for elders, senior citizens, uh, people with disabilities, both temporary and permanent. And we applaud the addict team on this one. The EMT Sportsful e-bike is available at Chroma. Please visit Chroma store for a demo. The eAddict EMT Sportful e-bike as well as the electric wheelchair are both available on the eAddict website. They are also available on the Plugger India website. If you haven't yet already, please visit the Plugger India online shop. We have some fantastic t-shirts and some new merchandise for you. Check out the links in the description below. So we have observed that the eAddict team have shipped their product all over India and they have been able to provide fantastic remote support to all their customers. So guys, like this video, subscribe to our channel and support us via Patreon and via YouTube channel memberships. That way you'll get access to our Discord server and you'll be able to have behind the scenes access to the Plugin India teams and all the behind the scenes stuff. Stay tuned.